for this one. 15 cars going 25 times around and just like that. It's time for a main action for the Northwest Focus Midgets. Two by two. The leisurely pace speed set by Peterson Lee. The versatile driver working on the outside of him. So tough through three.
change your line at all when that was happening or was your car still just so good to the bottom that you can kind of work through what was getting tossed up? I mean you still just you have to make it work on the bottom you can't go anywhere else so uh, we're all just locked down on the bottom for 25 laps and then it was like So now with a win tonight you're locked in to the main on Saturday you'll be on the pole. How much confidence and notes do you have out of tonight? Uh, I mean, I'm sure the track will probably be similar to what it was tonight so I just kind of do the same thing, maybe just free the car up a little bit. And just it, it, was, it was hooked up more on the bottom than kind of what we thought, and it was really tight. You're one of the Northwest Focus Midgets, Jared Peterson. Look at Alex Pett up on up here. And Alex, that wasn't a second place that came easy for you. You had to work around that one for Stuart Lee a couple times early. Yeah, the, I mean, the bottom's really juiced. I think throwing all the heat racing to the bottom, she felt pretty lucky. Um, so I finally think it just got packed in enough for us to be really, you know, kind of use it. Uh, bottom line too is actually pretty wavy. I don't know if the players can catch it. Kind of go in there and it's a little bit of a roller coaster. So the point where the frame rails can kind of bottom out. So you just have to be really smooth through that. Um, and yeah, lap cars, I know like Jared got out to a huge lead. He kind of got back to me, which I figured lap cars would give him a headache. Uh, we had our own headaches through lap cars too. But yeah, honestly, just setting up enough momentum kind of through the marbles and three and four to get a kind of medium to low run to get by Stuart was kind of cool. So you just talked about through turn one what was kind of bumpy. How do you drive your car so that it's not upsetting you as, as much as you can help avoid that? Yeah, Stater's better even even though we have, you know, not a lot of horsepower and we're not weak for type cars. They like to drive as straight as possible, but um, yeah, if you get too bent through it and you just catch the nose wrong, you have to use both pedals to lose momentum. So Stater's better um, and just kind of drive downhill a little bit. Well, coming up with second place, Alex Peck. And a little twist, we'll get you up on up here to the podium. Round out your top three. And similar to Alex, you had to kind of set up the pass and hide your time there before you could move into third. How'd you get it done? What notes do you feel like you have going into Saturday? I think we're fast. The three of us have been on the podium a lot last couple years. So we run the together. Um, we just, you know, have the option to work on the car and then see how we're doing here on Thursday night and then watch the fresh tomorrow. That's going to help us build on the Well, coming on third, Hannah Linquist. Eric Liskow, trackside for us here. On our coverage of Dirt Cup 2024, Northwest Focus Midget made that night number one all done. We'll see a whole new cast of drivers coming up on night number two before they combine forces and put on the full show for about a 34 car field on Saturday night here at Skaggs Speedway as part of the finale of the Jim Ray program. Dirt Cup. 